I'm at the designated waiting spot, waiting for my Baidu Apollo Go taxi to pick me up in Wuhan. It says it's three minutes away on the app, so I'm poised and ready. Hello, it's Will Glasgow, the Australian's North Asia correspondent, coming to you from Wuhan, from a robot taxi in Wuhan, actually. I'm in uh, one of the almost 400 of these taxis that are run by Baidu, the big tech giant here, China's Google. And I'm in one of them doing a, to be honest, a kind of random trip. In Wuhan, about one third of the city you can use these robo taxis in, or they're allowed to cover about one third of the city. That seems to not include point A to point B of almost any trip I'd actually want to do in Wuhan. But I'm in here just for the fun of it, to check it out. So I waited at my designated spot, put in the QR code to open up the door, and then now this robot, this empty seat, is driving me through a city as big as Sydney and Melbourne combined, more than 10 million people. So what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Look, Wuhan is clearly making a big pitch to be the cutting edge of this technology. I mean, it is. Those 400 cars are the biggest robot taxi fleet in the world. Now, Baidu's rivals in America, they've both got rival products to this. You've been able to do this in Wuhan since 2022, and people in the city tell me it's become more popular with people who come to visit the city. There's a lot of people who are a bit geeky, and they come in here for the novelty of riding around in one of these. As to how people in Wuhan think of it, there's really mixed reviews. I've heard someone tell me they love it. For them, they see a lot of potential for their parents. One person told me about his elderly mother who doesn't have a car license, is not mobile, and can't do her grocery shop. So whenever she has a big shop, her son needs to come along to do it. And he thinks these robo taxis could be terrific for her. He actually wants to buy a robo car for her as soon as that's possible. And he told me she can use it whenever she needs to. And then while she's asleep or not using it, it can go off and just sort of act like a taxi driver and earn her a bit of money on the side. But meanwhile, the taxi network, the drivers in Wuhan, as you can imagine, are not fans at all. And just a couple of months ago, the taxi drivers of Wuhan surrounded the provincial office when the government had announced plans to expand the fleet from about 400 to about 4,000, so a huge ramp up. That was scuttled after the protests. And for now, there's no word from the government on when the expansion of the fleet will happen. But clearly, the Wuhan government within China's bigger national plans wants to make sure China is at the forefront of robo taxis. So robo taxis have gone from science fiction to the real world, at least in Wuhan, or at least in one third of Wuhan. And uh, yeah, I gotta say so far, I thought it'd be a bit more scary than it is. This driver's not too bad.